wind doesn't help. It's time to upgrade our hearing protection here in TMP. You ready? Protect your ears. But first, the foundation. I do this with pretty much every review video I have in the project. There is a foundation of logic, and then I build upon it. Here's my foundation for hearing protection. Let's go back uh, circa 2010. In Run and Gun, and I don't know if I can find the video, just take my word for it. I was running some Sorden electronic hearing protectors. Um, you know, I'd heard they're really awesome. I tried them out, and they were okay. I'd probably give them a 6 out of 10. Extremely expensive. Yeah. Uh, tactical looking? Yes. Can integrate comms into them? Yes. Uh, did I say tactical looking? Yes. I, I didn't really dig them that much. And in the end, I ran over them with a truck anyhow. Seriously, totally destroyed them. Like $250 out the window. I was going to review those, bring them to the table. Never got around to it because uh, they were destroyed. But more importantly, back to the foundation, I like stuff that works. I like simple. I like the KISS principle. Thank you. Even with hearing protection. I'm not a Navy SEAL drop, dropping into the compound in Pakistan where I need those integrated comms. That philosophy of use is different. You follow? I am a gear tester. That's what I do. I just need some hearing protection and I really like it when it doesn't use batteries. Back to the foundation. I like simple stuff. And a lot of guys over the years have rolled in, well, you need to try this electronic hearing protector. Well, you mean like this one? The Tactical Sport by Peltor? Try those. They're okay. I give them about a 5 out of 10. You know, the, 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 ear, here, uh, sorry, the ear cup is not that deep. The cushions you can see are deforming when they're being stowed. So it's not sealing that well. And the batteries are always wearing out. Like I don't have enough things to worry about out there in the desert or the woods, wherever I'm testing. And if you don't know what I mean, it goes something like this. I have a thousand things I have to remember to bring. Ammunition, optics, flashlights, targets, more targets, steel targets, food, water, first aid. It's insane. So if I can eliminate one set of batteries, I'm happy. These are okay. I mean, they're not awful. You can integrate, uh, you know, plugins right here on the Peltors, Tactical Sports. They're about, and I'll put links to all these. If you dig them, you know, get them down below. Uh, they're okay. I, I just, I don't know. I don't wear them anymore. And that's really what we're talking about. What do I currently use? So these were pushed to the side. See ya, Peltors. Love you, Mina. And then what you really see me shooting a lot with are these ones. I think those are the Peltors, once again, Ultimate Tens. They're only like 25 bucks or something. And they're a good hearing protector. I've used them in TMP forever. These ones are dura-coated and heavily worn, as you can see. And I like them. They're super lightweight. They have a relatively deep ear cup. Uh, the seal on them is pretty good. And I've shot with them and probably will shoot with them again, the Ultimate Tens. There's some other ones, the Peltor X series, the Peltor Bullseye, and the Pel Peltor Presidentes. Woo, big list. Uh, you've seen me shoot with these. These are the juniors. I bought these actually for Last Suspect, but sometimes when SAWC is critical, I've shot with these with foam plugs. Speaking of which, these are the ones I recommend. The Heroes. So what I'll do is I'll spin a pair of these into my ears. And then I'll throw these on the outside. And then I can still hear people talking in case you're wondering. Well, usually. I mean, you'll see in the videos and in the reviews, it's like, why didn't none fancy respond to that question? Probably because I didn't hear it. I had double ears on. But if I really need to talk for a long period of time, I'll just swivel the hearing protector, the ear protectors up, leave the foam in. That's how it works. And it's been working that way for a long time. So these are awesome. These are definitely my most... Most favorite uh, foam plugs that I've used, and I've used a lot in flying and in shooting. Heroes, they're awesome. The blue ones, because they're, they're big and fat and they will really expand. Uh, usable, I would say probably about, I don't know, 10 wearings, and then your, uh, <laughs> your earwax will get on them. Hopefully you keep your ears clean. I try to, but you know, still there, and then you have to replace them. When they stop expanding into the ear canal, then it's time to 
replace them. So we got the the juniors. Those are okay, but look at how shallow the air cup is. So, so that you know the attenuation on these is not good at all. And you can look up the numbers on the. I'm not going to spit them out now. The Ultimate Tens, they're okay. Uh, the thing that really motivated me to look further. Oh, let me show you a couple more before I get to that point. Here's a Peltor Shotgunners. I've run these before. They have the advantage of being kind of profiled so you can run a scoped rifle better without the air cup coming off. But they kind of have that same problem. They're low profile. They're going to have less attenuation. I've really never minded the Peltor headband. I think it's comfortable. It's easily adjustable. You know, some people complain about it. They want ratcheting clicks. Ah, I've never had a problem with it. And they've been durable. They just don't provide a lot of protection. Um, so those are there. And then I sold the heck out of these ones. And I still like them. The Howard Light. These ones right here. Impact Sports for about 40 bucks. Electronic uh, hearing protectors. These are good. They're not great because they don't have a deep ear cup. The ear foam on them is not that excellent. And so they really don't block out a ton of noise. Now, if you're using the foam with these, as I've always done, more doable. They do have an audio jack in them. They do take a very common battery. And yes, they still burn out at the least opportune times. They're still good. I haven't shot with them. I mean, if you go look in the last three years, have you seen me wearing these? I it, The reason is, is it just wasn't providing hearing protection. I mean, I've got, you know, hearing, uh, I would say, damage from the Air Force, from flying jets. And so I'm just trying to preserve what I have left. And when you shoot those, what I was going to say, when you shoot like a shorty AK or a side venting AR-15, dang, those are loud. And to sometimes you get the the shot the filming shot you know i'll break out to the side so i was like i wonder if there's anything better uh one thing on the table i don't have i wish i did is a custom molded ear insert you can get from an audiologist they're going to run about 75 bucks a pair they're going to mold the silicone to your ear and that really blocks out the sound now if you run those in conjunction with some high quality hearing protectors i think you're going to be covered okay but in my hunt, those aside, that option aside, uh, for a better hearing protector than the Ultimate 10, this is what I found. Yeah, and these are made by Clear Armor, and I'm trying to look at the actual name, whatever they are. I'll have a link down below. Uh, and I took it apart to show you why it's pretty excellent compared to the Peltor. First up, look at the thickness of the plastic. And I don't have a Peltor taken apart right now, and I'm not going to, but it's thinner than that. Then it has several different foam types. Look, it has a dense foam here at the apex of the ear cup, more foam here, and so it's really packed with foam, and you could put some more in there if you wanted. But the thickness of this outer shell plastic is pivotal. And then it has a screw-in eye cup. All the other ones I've shown you have snap-in eye cups. Oh, eye cups ear cups uh, and then here's this very important this this part right here now in aviation headsets this is where a lot of money is spent and I've run headsets like on my David Clark's to have a gel pad those are nice I'm not totally sold on gel pads and I'm talking aviation he headsets but the sword uses them too um, because sometimes they don't seal that good especially in cold weather the gel gets really cold and it's not flowing and I think this uh, seals better and another reason it will seal good is because it has a higher clamping pressure very important than the Peltors on the table the Peltors are comfortable they have a medium clamping pressure this one really gets on your head yeah and it has a similar adjustment to the Peltors like this big thick uh, some people would say a more comfortable headband I've never found the headband on the Peltors to be uncomfortable. In fact, I like how sometimes it can ride under a hat. This one, you're gonna have a hard time doing that. It's designed to be over the head. Uh, but these are comfortable, better clamping pressure, and you can see the attenuation, 34 decibels. Totally worth it. Hey, what do you know, man? They got a freaking thank you card in there. Oh, that's nice. Cool, not totally satisfied for any reason. Hey, there you go, Gary. There's his email address, so if you don't like them. Uh, these had really good ratings in Amazon, and so I tried a pair. I actually have two pair now, and I'm sold. Yeah, 
Very nice. And they do fold for storage. And when you do it, it doesn't I have, you know, this one taken apart, but it doesn't destroy the ear cups like some of the others we've talked about. A good example would be the Tactical Sports, you know, by Peltor. And these are heavier too. Anytime you have an electronic one, it's more weight. Hey, but you need comms. Ah, maybe you do. I don't. Not out there. The only comms I need are people shouting at me. Dude, did the camera angle work out okay? No, it didn't. Uh, love these. Highly recommended. So here's my current system. The clear armor, hearing protectors, and the heroes. That's what I'm running. Occasionally you'll see this system. Depends. Uh, and yeah, I even use these when I'm running suppressed because sometimes the cans are kind of loud. There you go. Hearing protection update. What do you say? 